Hello and welcome to The Weekend. And on The Weekends, we like to do website and YouTube channel reviews here on the show. It is episode 328, which is just insane. We are on our way to one full year. But we got a lot to do uh, between now and then. And today it's all about you and whether or not you get your website and or YouTube channel reviewed, you're gonna be able to watch others and help each other out in the chat. Thank you so much. If you're here live with us, say hello to your friends here in the chat. If you're watching the replay, hashtag team replay. Uh, let's not wait any further. Let's start the show. Here we go. This is the income stream to help you achieve your dream. Oh, while we keep it clean, this is the income stream. It's the kind of show where you can come and go, but then you leave inspired with no fee required. The income stream with Pat Flynn. Awesome. Uh, yes, somebody uh, is commenting on the shirt. I think that was Elton. Uh, brand new shirt today, 1% better every day. Very similar to what James Clear talks about in Atomic Habits, where when you get 1% better every day, in fact, I was talking to my son this morning about this. He was saying like, oh, so it'll only take 100 days to get 100% better. And I was like, no, actually it doesn't work like that. Because on day one, you're at 100%, 1% better, that's 101%. But then 1% of 101, will take you to 102.01, right? And so on and so forth. So you're kind of climbing and this compounding uh, factor works really, really well, the exponential growth. And it's one of those things like, have you ever heard that uh, case study where you're like, oh, should you take $100 today or a penny that doubles every day for 30 days or something like that? And the penny is definitely the way to go because we don't realize that compound interest and that exponential growth is just huge, right? This is why if you're investing, starting early is the best thing possible. And if you haven't started yet, starting now is the next best thing possible, right? What's up, Mike? Good to see you. We got at Reef in the house, Bernard. How did, uh, how we got here podcast, uh, welcome. I think it was Justin was saying like it was like 21 degrees in Ohio or something. Please stay warm, everybody. I know it's a crazy cold front coming in the U.S. And I think that there, I saw an article yesterday where every state in the U.S., all 50 states, are gonna have freezing temperatures at some point. And I don't know if that's happened before, but there's sort of some polar ice thing that's happening, uh, which is kind of insane. So anyway, uh, at Reef, yo, you are crazy, my man. Thank you so much for coming in here and for offering the support and your generosity. It is just mind blowing every time you come in here. Uh, again, completely not required. You do not have to pay anything to be here, but a big shout out to at Reef. Definitely follow, follow him on his channel. I may, uh, in May, I will graduate and become a clinical mel mental health counselor. So I decided to change the direction of my channel to reflect my work. I also updated my website. And I was wondering if you could review my website and let me know your thoughts. Dude, I'd be happy to do that. If you wanted to leave the URL uh, in the chat, I'd be more than happy to do that. You are a member of the community here for a long time. And uh, even if you didn't pay, I would have done it for you. So you're all good. Polar Vortex, and yes, it's happened a lot in the last eight years. Oh, okay. It's a chilly 55 in Scottsdale, says Rob. Uh, it is a chilly 65 here in San Diego. Uh, we got Martin in the house, John, welcome in, Bernard, Angelina. Also, uh, thank you to our amazing moderators here. Uh, Stephanie, we got K-Walk Comedy, Just Samson, uh, as well as uh, Peasant Uprising, and uh, you guys are incredible. Thank you. Okay, so we're doing website reviews. What does that mean? Uh, website reviews and YouTube channel reviews. Well, I wanna help you out because a lot of times these little small incremental changes, I'm not just touching myself, I'm talking about my shirt, right? These 1% increments can go a very long way, especially when you put time behind it. So now is the best time to start making improvements so we can optimize and be efficient with our brand and our websites and our YouTube channel. And we can do our best to help those who are coming across those things, to help them understand that this is the place they need to stick around, to help them understand how to go further through it so that we can ultimately get them to share it. And what's really cool, especially for both websites and YouTube channels, is that the more we focus on helping people understand this is the place to be, not this place, I mean, this is the place to be, the income stream, but I mean, your website or your YouTube channel is the place for them, that there is information and content there that'll help them. And when that content starts or plays or is read, that they're gonna stick all the way through as much as possible, this signals to both Google and YouTube and remember, YouTube is owned by Google, that this place is worth sticking around and they're gonna reward you for that, right? The higher the watch time in your videos, the more it'll be pushed out to others. 
the higher the click-through rate on your videos, i.e. title and thumbnail. I cannot, I think those are the two most common words I've said here on the income stream over the last 328 days. Title, thumbnail, title, thumbnail, title, thumbnail, title, thumbnail, right? Because that's what drives those clicks that then get people into your videos. On a website, titles of blog posts, how your keywords are being used, how the first paragraph includes a keyword and also then uh, supports this idea of, 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 okay, well, why should I need to read this whole uh, article? When we can focus on keeping people in at length, we will be rewarded for that, okay? I cannot stress that enough. The more we can keep people around, the more likely it is that we are to be rewarded for that. Sleep Cove, I would love a channel review. You got it. Thank you so much for that. And again, it's not a pay to play kind of thing, but I hadn't seen anybody ask yet. So uh, I appreciate you for that. And yes, the super chats are a way to get my attention, but it's not a pay to play kind of thing. So I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, who else do we got? Anybody? Let's see. Um, all right. Let's see, we'll keep going here in just a minute. But yes. So what am I going to look for when I go to websites, I want to know, can I understand who this is for? And what I'm going to get here? That's just plain and simple, right? If this were easy, what would it look like? I would go to the website, I would know exactly who it's for and what it could do for me if I was a part of that uh, a part of that niche, right? I think a struggle that a lot of us have when it comes to copywriting, to websites and things like that um, is this idea of, you know, oh, well, we want to try to capture everybody, right? Like we want to try to uh, write copy that would um, sort of resonate with, with a ton of people. But unfortunately, when you create copy for everybody, you create copy for nobody. What I mean by that is you, you become so general that people can't believe that, okay, well, this is not the site for me. Or although you might talk about similar topics, there's gonna be somebody who has more specialization that could help them instead. So the more honed in we can get, and on YouTube, this means your channel artwork, your tagline up there, Uncle Bill, thank you so much for the super chat uh, and the super sticker. Um, you reviewed my site and pushed me to start a YouTube channel. Can you take a looky? Says how we got here podcast. Yeah, how we got here. Podcast. Yes, we'll take a look at your YouTube channel for sure. Uh, cool. So let's go. Let's just do this. Other things I'll point out along the way. I do want to play some videos and we can kind of get an understanding of what it's like to start a video and hook a person in and some changes that perhaps I would have made instead. Uh, I'm here to learn your point of view so I can make some changes. And then do you have uh, then have you do a review or is that backwards thinking? Yeah, I mean, Artist Haven, thank you so much for coming in today. I think that you're new here and uh, you've already received a warm welcome from the chat I saw. Um, you could just kind of sit back and, and learn from the reviews that we're about to do. You can implement some stuff on your own even without having your own stuff reviewed. And perhaps next week or the week after or the week after that, you can come in, I'll remember your name and just let me know and I'll review your stuff, no problem. That way you have something to work with to implement and then move on uh, forward. I think I also saw Andrew comment uh, that you haven't got your Team Flynn shirt yet. Yes, um, that, as we said, was gonna take several weeks because it was a special order and we were determining how many to order and it takes some time uh, based on where it's coming from. Plus shipping has been just lagging all over the place, as you might know. So thank you for your patience, but it is coming to you, I promise. Tina says, this is one of my favorite days of the lives. Thank you, thank you. By the way, yesterday uh, I stayed up late I was on as a guest on another Pokemon YouTube channel, uh, which is pretty cool. So anyway, let's go into the website at Reef. Uh, at Reef, where might I find your website? Um, let me know in the chat if you can. Because I know there's a lot of, I'm looking at uh, Reef Healthcare, Reef Technology, Reef this, Reef that. So at Reef, if you don't mind sharing exactly where we can go to check you out, that would be great. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna look for your comment here. Other things I'm gonna look for. Um, I'm gonna also look for how you're uh, helping me understand where to start, right? So, okay, I'm in, you've showed me that you have the idea that you know what I'm talking about or you know what I need help with. Can you guide me to where I need to begin, right? A lot of times blogs especially, it's just like this giant wall of, of content that can often be very overwhelming. I think it's really important to have a starting point or a get get started here page kind of thing, right? All right, I'm looking for you are amazing. Um, cool. I'm looking for at reef. Uh, 
Sleep Cove will get to you as well. Thank you so much. Yes, Arif, I don't see your URL. If you could, if you could type it in, and if you type it in exactly, you might not have it come through. So write the word dot instead of put the dot in there, or just try to find some creative way to, uh, way to get it through. Unfortunately, uh, YouTube doesn't allow just URLs to come through all the time super easily. Another thing uh, to look for, I wanna look for proof, right? So, okay, you've convinced me with your copy, you're speaking my language, this is all working really well, but how do I know that you are the person to learn from? I wanna know who's behind the keyboard or who's behind the video, and I wanna also know a little bit of your credentials. Now, you don't need to go full force with, oh, here's all how awesome I am, but you gotta realize that people default to doubt online, right? People default to doubt at reef.com. Okay, so just simply at reef.com. That's a great URL. Six letter URL. How crazy is that? All right, let's go in here and check this out. So here's at reef's website. Uh, we'd like to show you notifications for latest news and updates. Okay, so first off, right off the bat, I always worry when I see pop ups right away before I even get to know who, who it is you are. It's almost like you're asking me to go on a date before we even got to know each other's names. And so we need to be very, very careful about that. So this subscribe thing on the top here, this is one where you actually get desktop notifications. We'd like to show you notifications for the latest news and updates. So who is we? What are these updates about? I don't even know what I'm getting here. So I would actually not recommend having that, at least not right away. Perhaps there's a way to determine whether or not that could come on the second visit or the third visit, right? Where you've sort of earned the right to then ask me to go on that date with you. And right now you're being a little bit too forward with me, you know, and I'm, I'm a shy kind of guy. So, you know, if you're kind of a little forward with me, I'm gonna back, uh, back up the opposite way, if that makes sense. So we'd like to show you notifications for the latest news and updates. I would not have that uh, pop up right away, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna cancel that. And again, we, we need to know who is this for and what it can do for me. So let's read this copy and then I have some comments. I, I like the sort of uh, visuals here. It's looking really cool. Actually, it's a very clean looking website. I can recommend all often uh, right off the bat, and this is for most people, I'll also accept these cookies here, uh, that your fonts could be a little bit bigger. Uh, for me, and just let me make sure I am at 100%, yeah, I am at 100% right now, um, the fonts are quite small. And for people, especially the older generation, and just in general now, having a bigger font on your website is sort of uh, best practice. I would say at least a 13, um, but even a 14, just as the minimum. As you can see here, this is probably a 11 or 12, and that's kind of hard on the eye. And you know, I'm a little, I'm not too far away from my laptop computer here, so it's it's a little bit of an eye strain there. So just keep that in mind. Same thing with the navigation menu uh, up here at the top. I do see you have like two sub menus, which is really cool. I like that. So you have like at the top your uh, big pillar uh, content topic types, and then you have the sort of navigation down below, which is pretty cool. I, I like how that looks. And okay, so let's look at the copy. I commented on the font already. I do think that if this were up here. That would work a little bit better because as you can see, if I scroll down, there's a lot of room up at the top and up at the bottom. And you could benefit from moving things up a little bit so that you can actually bring more above the fold. Above the fold means stuff that is there before I have to scroll down. And I only see so much. And this isn't good because Google also looks at what's above the fold. Humans look to see what's above the fold. And often we can't rely on people to scroll down our page to find all the goodies. So. The fact that you have uh, content here that uh, plays to who it is that you're serving, that's great. Let's move that up. And then there might be ability for you to underneath that, put some sort of proof or a, a, a little bio about who this is and uh, maybe more information about where to get started. I do see a get started button here, which is really great. I do wanna click on that in just a minute. Uh, for mobile devices, that font is too small. Yeah, so cool, 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 cool. You're, you're, you're uh, catching what I'm throwing to you, so that's good. So if this were up here a little bit, let's just imagine that. Let's look at this. Master and grow your mental health day by day. Live a life that you deserve. Okay, I think that can resonate with a lot of people. We all like to live better, happier, and more fulfilling lives, but how can we make that happen? I try my best to give you practical advice to help you take control of your life, money, and mental health once and for all. Okay, so I would grade that maybe a, a B minus. It's, it's, it's hitting on the right notes. We know what this site is about, that is good. Oftentimes we come to websites like this and we have no idea what this is about or who it's for, and most of all, what it can do for me. This tells me what it can do for me. 
but it tells me something that I've heard before, right? We, there, are, there are millions of other websites that wanna help people get better mentally. How, in what way, shape, or form do you do this? Do you make this quick and easy? What, uh, do, you go, um, do you go into the psychology of things? Do you uh, have some proprietary method that you might use? Do you, like, I need to know, okay, so yes, I hear you, you're helping me and that's great, but so what? So what is unique about this particular website, right? Again, I love that you're speaking to me. You're already giving me the benefits of what it might be like to be here on this page. Give me a life that you deserve. Great, that is perfect. But I think we can work a little bit further in addition to building the font up a little bit. We can have some more information about what exactly are we talking about here, right? Are we, you know, is this is this um, helping you control your anger, right? That is a form of mental health, but is that something that's spoken about here? And somebody who maybe is a little bit more on the anger side would then be able to resonate with that. Um, you know, if I've been struggling with money and money management, and that's been providing stress, then this is a place for you. And you kind of touch on that a little bit, but it, you sort of just breeze over it. But let's get specific here, because when you get specific, people can specifically understand that you can serve them. The animation on the right, it's, it's, it's just right. You know, because sometimes when there's too much movement, it can be very distracting. And it's just enough where it doesn't like, it's not super aggressive. It's just enough where it looks like, wow, this is a really pro looking website. And it does support the content on the left-hand side. This sort of welcome mat is a great strategy. I think we just need to work on the copy a little bit. Master and grow your mental health day by day. Do we grow our mental health? I think we master your mind almost sounds, uh, master your mind and take control of your mental health, right? That, that almost sounds a little bit more um, understanding of what this might be versus master and grow your mental health day by day. Um, I think we don't necessarily grow our mental health. We grow um, sort of positive vibes within our mental health, right? If that makes sense. So anyway, let's, let's scroll down a little bit. I do want to click on learn more and get started in just a moment here, but let's scroll down why it's important to care for your mental health or mental health. And, and this is even smaller. So let's be careful about the size of the font. Again, very, very clean looking website, I must say. Hey, there you are. Yo, thank you for your support, by the way. I was hoping that I'd get to see who you were because that's something very important. If you were talking about something that's very personal, right? So just keep this in mind, Chad. If you're talking about something very personal like money or um, mental health or somebody's uh, health of, of any kind, right? Um, people wanna know who they're learning from. And too often I see people trying to hide behind their keyboards, trying to hide behind their blog, and even behind their videos sometimes. Now the video, yes, you get their voice out there, but even then, having yourself show up, even every once in a while. Yes, you can still have slides and other B-roll and stuff where you don't have to show up all the time, but you imagine a person who's struggling with something, who's looking for help, they wanna learn who they're learning from. And there's no better way to earn trust than to actually just show up with your face because people connect with other people and you, you, you be present for them, right? So I love that you share that here at Reef. I appreciate you for that. And uh, what was your name again? Essen. Nice. Let me know if I'm saying that right. Essen. Rob says, improve our mental health. Yes, Imp improve our mental health. So let's go back up here with the copy. Why it's important to care for your mental health. Improve your emotional well-being. Mental health affects physical health and stigma and shame to lead better lives. Um, okay. So number one, the first thing that I remembered was that pop-up that came up that says we, uh, you use the word we. But it sounds like this is very much an I website, right? It's just you, and I would make sure to match those, what is it, pronouns uh, all across the way. So that's number one. Number two, this feels very professional looking. And I say that both in a good way and in a bad way. Because when I see your comments here in the chat, and when I see your face and I can imagine the person, I don't feel like it's the person saying these things. Like, would you go into, um, he, he, here's the big thing. Your copy on your website should reflect you. And I think that more people need to write like you talk. And yes, I know you're trying to be professional here. Why it's important to care for your mental health versus, hey, let me tell you why uh, your mind matters, right? Our mental health encompasses our physiological, emotional, and social well-being. This means it impacts how we feel, think, and behave each, uh, behave each day. Is that how you would talk to somebody at a coffee shop, right? 
that feels very clinical. That feels very, you're at a doctor's office and I'm also getting a little scared hearing somebody say the language in that way, right? I think it's very important. I would absolutely encourage you, all of you, to write like you talk, right? And so that way you can connect with people. I mean, some people, it just naturally, naturally comes. Like I know some people who talk also about mental health who might say like, hey, I'm Madison and I care about your mind because I was a mess too. I was a hot mess and here's how I got out of that. And I know that you might be a hot mess too. So let's get through this together kind of thing, right? And so I think that that kind of like just understanding of language that helps you connect and not feel like this is a, like a clinic I'm walking into, but rather a friend that I can come to for help, right? So I don't know how you are in, in real life, but I do know how you are just even through chat here. And I know that the way you speak is not what I'm seeing here, if that makes sense. So let's kind of have that, uh, that sort of voicing be the same if, that, if, if that's okay. Chad, is that making sense? I hope, I hope that encourages you to write more like you talk. That's what people connect with, right? I think that a lot of us are conditioned to write in that corporate sort of manner where I remember when I was in architecture, I would write emails like, per your request, um, I, you know, please submit this file by this date. Thank you. And whatever, right? Sincerely, Pat Flint. It's like, what? That's not how I talk to people per your request. <laughs> it's just like, we don't talk like that in real life, right? All right, let's keep going here. Here's what you can learn from me. One, learn to love yourself. Two, process your emotions. Three, focus on today, not your past. Four, set goals and start implementing. I like this start area. Uh, it's really difficult to read this font here, by the way. Um, any cursive font, actually, I was very excited to see sort of a more scripted font that I could actually read. Uh, this live a life that you deserve, I, I would use this font all the way through for your uh, subhead, for your, for your topics here. However, right here, this is a different font and this looks very, very, like even at the 100% scale, not on a mobile device, it's still hard to read. I would have start now be the same font as this, just so it, it's sort of cohesive. And then I would say, instead of here's what you can learn from me, that almost is like, hey, here's why you should follow me. But more like, I want you to, to position this as what you can do for them, right? Just even in that phrasing, here's what you can learn from me. It's almost like, let me tell you why, why I'm the place to be versus here is what I'm doing to serve you, right? It's a little bit of a language change, but it's a mental psychological thing that completely changes how people come across your website and how they feel. What I do under what I do love here is you have this like four step process, right? This four step process. And that's like a it, to me it's like a, a proprietary thing. I think we should all have our own proprietary method of doing things, right? Like my friend Pete Vargas, he has and this is why it's great because it's easy to memorize, right? So he has the 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 um uh, stage to scale process, right? That's what he calls it, stage to scale. The first S is stage, uh, is, is, or excuse me, story. Uh, I think it's story to scale. Yeah, story to scale. So the first stage, the first S is getting your story, your signature talk, right? The second one is getting on stages. The third one, the third S is scaling your business from the stage. And so he has this proprietary process that all of his programs run through. And there's an individual courses for each specific part of that state, those stages, which is pretty cool. Uh, one, two, or three. And so you have the puzzle pieces for that, but it doesn't seem as it doesn't seem as um, forthcoming that this is like your proprietary thing to do, right? So here here's what I would recommend. Um, here's the like I would say, uh, for example, mm, my mother in law is texting me. Okay, <laughs> uh, here's what I would recommend. Um, here's the four-step process that will change your mind. <laughs> Maybe not change your mind. That sounds a little too too cute, if that if that makes sense. Um, here's the four. Here is my four-step process that will help you live your best life. Step one: learn to love yourself. Through this, we look at and examine your past and blah 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 blah. Step two, step three, step four. Right now, I can see a path through the work that you do. Right, it's not now a learning like textbook. Right now, this feels very textbook. Here are four things that you can do to get better, right? Versus here is my guidance for you. Step one, I'm gonna help you do this. Step two, I'm gonna help you do this. Step three, I'm gonna help you do this. Step four, I'm gonna help you do this, right? 
So you have you have the, the parts for that. Self-improvement should not be difficult. So this looks like blog posts. Uh, again, this explore text up here is very, very difficult to read. This is how I make better decisions in my life. This is a true guide. Uh, what is wrong with me? Way, ways to find the truth about yourself, uh, the meaning of work, and what job will make me truly happy. This is like a, a, a 180 from the site that I remember or the YouTube channel that I remember reviewing. This is looking really great. The images, the colors, it's all popping really well. Don't fall behind. Get juicy lifestyle tips curated for you and delivered weekly. Uh, my goal is to send you useful information of uh, free of advertisement with zero spam. Uh, is that supposed to be an E, Z, E, R, O, or I don't know, maybe not. Uh, plus, you'll be the first to know about special offers such as free workshops, discounts. So this is really important because this is the sign-up area, right? And right now, I, I, I want more copy that connects to the mind and the mental aspect and everything that you're sharing here. Right now, you're te you, uh, like, I don't know if this is a lifestyle. And it's almost like if I just landed here and I didn't see the rest of your page, I would, I would think that this was a lifestyle blog based on this, right? You're gonna send me useful information about living a lifestyle versus I wanna see copy that relates to why I'm here. You just convinced me, you've showed me your proprietary way, you've shown me, you've proven with your copy and your topics and your blog posts that you are proficient with this. You've shown me a little bit about you. This is a great picture, by the way. And you're like, get lifestyle tips. It doesn't match to me. It doesn't match to me. So I think that that needs to, to match and I would have it be more about the mind and, or at least it could be the same tips, but at least, sell it to me in a way that you've positioned the whole website to be. And then if you have some sort of free guide of some kind, that always works a lot better, a lead magnet of some or sorts or something that could go um, that could go there. Cool. Great question from uh, John Carl Lewis. Where do you put your why? Your why should be can live throughout the homepage, just to be clear, like here, uh, tradition, so, I, I would like to see a little bit more um, here about you, right? Like, how are you qualified, right? I see a quote from you, which is nice, but I think that you have a lot more room here on the left-hand side. I like that you're looking over here too, but I would move this up a little bit and have, yes, maybe a quote, but also a little bit about who you are, why you're doing this, why is this important to you, and maybe a little bit of your credentials too. If you've been featured on any magazines or articles or TV stations or anything, you can include little icons there too, just to add again, a little bit more proof. It is so important when you're talking about people's very personal things like budgets or mental health that people go, okay, why should I listen to you? And that connection is gonna, is gonna feed so much more uh, time on your website um, and connection to your audience. Your about page is a place, John, that you could also do that too. It's in my about, yeah. I think it should be down here too because why would a person click on the about page unless you've already intrigued them in some way, shape or form. So we, we can pull that why here just a little bit. And then you can have a button here that says, uh, click here to learn even more about me. Uh, click here to learn even more about, um, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's fine. Excuse me. Um, let's see. All right. Um, I wanna click on this get started area really quick before we finish up. So I'm gonna click on get started. Okay, that takes me here. Okay, and that's cool. But I think that we need to get very clear about, okay, um, here's what to do first. Step one, learn to love yourself. Maybe there's a button that goes to an article or uh, perhaps a different place to, oh, here's the about me button. Um, yeah. It's okay. So imagine a person's here and they're like, yes, I want to improve my mental health. This is exactly what I need. Get started. Here's what you can learn from me. One, okay. And again, this feels very textbooky. I don't know where to go from here, right? If you've shared with me the proprietary sort of four step process that you might take me through, okay, so how do I begin? Where do I go from here? I'm not exactly sure. So we need to really help people um, go from there. Am I seeing requests from pre-show chat? I'm not, because I'm not in the room, unfortunately. But big promotions, if you have a website or something that we could review, I think we might have time for it. We can spend 10 minutes on each of these uh, next two, plus you, if you want. So let me know, big promotions, exclamation point, if there's a website, or is it your YouTube channel? If that's, in fact, for you, or are you, or are you doing that for somebody else? Cool. 
So at Reef, uh, first of all, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Um, not required, happy to help out uh, either way, but I'm very, very, um, actually very, very positive in what I'm seeing here. And I'm getting very picky, I hope you don't mind, about the points that I think will help take your website to the next level and help, most of all, people who arrive at this site connect with you even more, right? Okay, big promotions, I got you. I'll see if I can, uh, I can get to you at the end here. All right, let's go to Sleep Cove on YouTube. YouTube. And let's go to Sleep Cove. Not Sleep Cover. Mistype that. You're welcome, Matt Reeve. Thank you so much. Um, very cool. All right, Sleep Cove. I'm guessing this is you. Let me know if this is true. Sleep Cove. Bedtime stories. Sleep meditations. Sleep hypnosis. So you see what, what I mean here? It's like, it's not fancy. It's not super crazy designed, but we go and we understand exactly what this is gonna be about. The only thing that I think would be missing would be how can this help me, right? So there's bedtime stories, sleep meditation, sleep hypnosis, are people looking that up? Great, you've already given them what they, they are looking for. But there could be one additional thing that perhaps can add a little bit more of a connection to, okay, why is this important? How does this improve, uh, you know, uh, sleep faster, um, so you can sleep faster and wake up more refreshed, for example, right? So something like that in the tagline, you have room for it, can go a very long way, but I like how uh, clean it is. I, th I like how the artwork represents what it is that you're doing. 55,000 subscribers, congratulations to you, that's amazing. And I can see some stories here. I like how you have your popular uploads up top, that's really great, that's, that's a smart thing to do is create a playlist. And when you, when you have a YouTube channel for a while, you should go back and see what's most popular, insert a new a playlist for your most popular stuff and then pop that right at, the, uh, right at the top. This is very similar to if you go to a restaurant, right? And you look at the menu, people often wanna know what the chef's specials are or what is the most favorite dish that patrons have. And that's what you're doing here. So I really like that. Um, Travis says, I have a question. What's your question, Travis? I'll do my best to answer that on the fly here. Then you have your uploads, you have your created playlists. So what I would do is I, was, I would expand on this more. Sleep Cove, because the more that you can put here, the more opportunity for a particular thumbnail or a particular type of playlist to connect with people. So you have your popular uploads, you have your recent uploads, and then you have your created playlists. You can expand on these. You can have uh, horizontal bars. You can have more vertical situations. I, I would go down the page and have 10 different playlists shown and actually have these be, be more extrapolated, right? Like your uh, fairy tales for sleep one, you have uh, Viking Norse myths and legends, you have sleep stories like crime ones, all of these could be broken out into, into their different things and uh, show, shown down the page here. The other thing that you could do is you can also have uh, your, um, you could also have your um, welcome video, right? So I came here, I was expecting to see a welcome video that perhaps could uh, either just showcase either two things. Number one, an actual welcome video that's like, hey, welcome. I can imagine some beautiful background music, right? Like, hey, welcome to Sleep Cove. Bedtime stories, sleep meditations, and sleep hypnosis to help you get a better night's rest and wake up more refreshed. You'll find stories like our Viking crime stories. Are there Viking crime stories? I don't know. Uh, that would be funny if there was actually Viking crime stories, but you know, I can imagine that. Um, do I have control over placement? Placement of, yeah, you totally do. You can um, customize your channel and you can move playlists up and down. It literally is just a drag and drop thing in your settings for sure, for your channel. I was expecting to see mattress sales, says Sleep Cove. Yeah, Sleep Cove mattress. Nope, not, it doesn't look like that, but uh, I was expecting something similar to that too. So anyway, a welcome video could be great that just kind of plants that seed for people. It could even be unlisted, so everybody who's subscribed already doesn't need to see it, but it shows up and people who arrive here can get just even more of an understanding of what it is that's here. I would imagine that even if you wanted to pop your face in there a little bit and just go, hey, my name is Jim and I create these to help you because these were really impactful for me too. So thank you for coming in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and choose from your favorite stories below in the playlist area so I can help you get a better night's sleep and be more well rested when you wake up or something like that, right? So I think that could be really cool. I kept putting off my welcome video. I really need to do this. Yeah, so again, minute or less, that's all you need. Just get right to how this can benefit people. And then you could talk a little bit about yourself and, and then the call to actions from there. Number two, you could instead 
put your most popular video there and have it because when people come here, it'll autoplay. And when things autoplay, number one, you get more watch time and downloads. But number two, it might just be the thing that you know inserts them into the story. And I think that uh, when you can find out which of your videos, you can do this in your analytics, you can find out which of your videos has been getting the most subscribers, that could be just the welcome video for new users. Um, so that way people will um, be more likely to subscribe because that video in fact is doing a great job for you for that. Uh, so that's something that you could do too. Uh, Travis says, I have a personal website and also my LLC website. I'm a disability advocate and there is little overlap. Should I consolidate to one? Thanks. I think that if the overlap is you and you are the personal brand behind it, then they can be overlapped. But in, in this case, just based on what I'm seeing, uh, it might be something, excuse me, that, um, that could be, uh, kept separate, right? Um, I have an LLC, but I don't have a website for it because my web properties are, are more, you know, online. Uh, smartpassiveincome.com, switchpod.co, those are separate, obviously. Uh, patflynn.com, because I want to take the personal brand a little bit out of smartpassiveincome.com to do other things. So I hope that helps. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. I'm liking the thumbnails. You know, some image that represents the story, and you have the story there. It's just eye-catching, and that's great. Um, that's fantastic. I would imagine that you get some pretty hardcore watch time on this, which is why your channel's probably growing, and that's great. Let's actually go to social blade.com. I like socialblade.com and let's go to sleep cove. Uh, socialblade.com is a website or not sleep cover. I did it again. I did it again. So sleep cove is where I want to go. Not sleep covers, sleep cove. You can do this with any channel, not just your own. And you can kind of get a sense of sort of how the channel is growing, right? So 125 uploads. Awesome. Looks like you've had some really good growth recently and you're getting about 500 subscribers a day or 300 to 500 subscribers a day. It's been going down a little bit, but of course there's seasons and there's algorithms at play here. So that's really cool. You can get sort of daily averages, about 20,000 views a day, which is really awesome. Uh, let's go to future projections just to see sort of like where we might hit 50,000 or some other fun milestones. This, the algorithm here actually works really well. So it looks like you're going to hit uh, 60,000 in less than a month and you'll maybe get to 100,000 by the end of the year, which would be really amazing. So keep up the good work, keep that consistency going if possible. Um, the first thing I wanna do, and actually the only thing I, I wanna do, because really there's a lot of great things that I'm seeing here. The playlist will help, the welcome video will help, a little bit of a, of a why in the, in the cover art will help. Um, but I wanna play one of these things and hopefully it'll come through. So I just wanna kinda listen. So let's go to uh, your latest one here. Um, a sleepy train story. Hello. Tonight's episode is where we go on a sleepy train ride. Okay, first of all, I don't know if I should listen to this because you might put me to sleep. The voice is perfect. The fact that you just kind of went right into it. You didn't wait. It's perfect. We were in the carriage of a classic steam engine and wind ourselves through a beautiful countryside. I really hope you enjoy it. This version has relaxing music in the background. So... Okay. I, I wouldn't change anything. It's working. Just do more of what you're doing right. Find out which videos, I would go into your analytics and find out which videos are hitting for you and trying to extrapolate, okay, why are people listening more to this one than the other one? It could be a title and thumbnail thing. Look at your click-through rates for your videos to see which of these have a higher click-through rate and which one have a lower click-through rate. You can update the thumbnails that have a lower click-through rate so that you can hopefully get a higher click-through rate over time. So that's what I would do for sure. And then I would go into each of the videos and analytics and maybe just look at the, in the um, engagement tab, you can scroll down and see where are people dropping off. You might find that maybe there are a lot of people dropping off in the very beginning, in which case you might wanna have maybe all that information in the description instead of right in the video. Um, there might be a part in the middle where people start dropping off and that tells you something. So go back and see, well, why did people do that? Maybe there's a part where people, uh, you see a spike and there might be something in the story or something that spikes, in which case you can go, okay, I'll make sure to include that in future stories down the road. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So I hope this helps you and uh, it sounds really beautiful. I think that just continue to stay on top of your content schedule. What I would focus on if I were you at this point in your journey is how can you become more efficient with these things? How could you perhaps get more of a team or more uh, people who you kind of sign on as a contractor to get more of these out there because I think that you're doing a big service to people and helping, but also at the same time, 
Um, some of these are going to hit, some of these aren't going to hit as hard, but the more that you get out there, the more you stay consistent with it, the more likely it is you're going to see even more exponential growth over time. So uh, well done. Thank you, Sleep Cove, for uh, allowing us to sort of review your stuff. You're doing awesome. You're doing awesome. Not too much to say. I like how you're focusing for grownups. It, it, it's awesome. Um, hopefully you're kind of coming down here and uh, reacting to the chat. Yep, you're doing exactly that. Um, you could probably go back in here and, you know, every once in a while, just go into some people who have left comments recently, you know, even once a week, just go back and start harding all these, like all of them, right? Look at this. Look at this. I have a concussion and a bad headache, and this is one of the only things I can listen to without it getting worse. Thank you so much for making these. Wow. 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 Amazing. Becoming more efficient. Yes. Cool. Well done. Uh, yeah, Bill's looking at Social Blade. Um, don't pay attention to the grade there uh, because, um, yeah, I mean, even like, I think smart passive income is like a B minus or something like don't don't we see that great and we're like, oh, it needs to be an A. Very few YouTube channels are A's, even ones that are doing well, even ones that have millions of views. So no worries, right? Grandma Goody says, I love when Pat Flynn hearts my comments, right? Yes, absolutely. It completely like helps you feel like you're being um, you're being hearted, right? Like when I go to some YouTuber and I comment and then I see that so and so liked my comment. You know, I just do a little shimmy. I'm like, yeah, they liked my comment. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I just, I just like shimmying. All right. How we got here podcast. Cool. So I think the how we got here podcast wanted to do a YouTube channel review. Uh, how we got here. Let me know if in fact that is correct. How we got here podcast. We can go and find you from there. There we go. 32 subscribers, 13 videos. I remember reviewing your stuff not too long ago, but I think that you may have made some changes, which is really cool. And already I can tell there's some stuff going on here, right? Every family has a story. Discover yours, yes. Well done. The one thing I will say again is that we need to have different varieties in pictures. I see this picture in your, uh, first of all, I would center the picture in your avatar here, right? It just looks a little off to me. Center it and you'll be good. Secondly, the picture up here is the exact same picture. I love the one on the left-hand side. This is a family tree. There's nice little photos hanging from it. That's perfect. I think that the resolution looks a little off. So again, I'm being very nitpicky here because I, I want to help you even further, but this is way better than what it was before for sure. Uh, so every family has a story, discover yours. Perfect, that play, that, that's, that's amazing. I think that there is room, I, I would say, if you wanted to make this even smaller, like this is huge, right? Like this is taking up both slots, the the, the first vertical, uh, first horizontal slot and the second horizontal slot, if you imagine two, two uh, rows there. Let's have the top one be every family has a story, dot, 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 discover yours, or it could be, let me help you discover yours. That could be something that, that could be really interesting. And then, um, you know, you could add something that describes the videos, right? whether it's like strategies and tips to learn more about your history or, um, you know, videos to help you find your family members and learn more about your family. tree, There could be something, honestly, it, it, it's almost good enough the way it is, but it is a little off centered and the, the quality of the text is a little off. So your resolution, maybe you might want to create a higher resolution image to pop in there. And then, and then again, the um, image of you in the background, I would just at least have it be, it could be the same background, but just a different, a different you, because it's literally the same image and, and I'm seeing doubles, right? I'm seeing doubles. Okay, uh, every family has a story. Let's discover yours. This is the first video that you pop up here. And, um, you know, this isn't necessarily a welcome video or maybe it is. I'm gonna watch this in just a minute, but I am seeing some really good thumbnails down here. The not so sinister secret of Granny Anders. Uh, am I as Scottish and Irish as I thought? Um, react to star Jack Septicai. Uh, could I be the real king of England? I challenge an American genealogy. Okay, so the one thing I will say with these videos is the top I'm reading, every family has a story, discover yours. In the titles and thumbnails, I'm reading that maybe I'm more learning about your family history and not mine, right? Uh, there is a queue, but I think we're full up. So we're going to try to get to two more after this. We're going to try to get to big promotions and Uncle Bill 
if Uncle Bill, you'd like me to still review, what is it, your website or your YouTube channel? We're gonna go to Big Promotions next here on YouTube, and then that should be it for today. So let's go uh, back to how we got here podcast. Um, like this one speaks to me. It's like discover yours because it's about me, right? It matches the title. It matches the artwork and such. Um, popular, like the not so, like wh why should I care about that? First of all, this, this, this image is, is the, the sinister part like that. It's just a great title, right? It's just a great title. But am I as Scottish as Irish as I thought my DNA results? So here, first of all, it's a lot of text on this thumbnail. I'm going to zoom in on this one here. So you want to have maybe less text on the thumbnail. What text might you need to capture people's attention? So I like the DNA here. And then it might just say my DNA results and then an, a reaction from you of some kind, right? The the image looks like if, if this was the image here, this 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 one here on the bottom left hand corner of you like, huh? That could go with your DNA results and that creates a story. You're getting results, you're reacting to it. We want to see what it is versus something so specific. Nobody is either A, searching for am I as Scottish and Irish as I thought, and that is something that's taking up room in the title that has nothing to do with your viewer, right? You haven't yet gotten to the point where you have so many subscribers that you could literally create videos about anything. And I think this is where we get into trouble as people who are just starting out. We mimic what other people are doing because we love their videos. And it seems like we can create videos about anything and anything can pop. And that's kind of true. But for many people like Peter McKinnon or MKBHD, they've earned a right to really talk about anything they want. They could title their videos like just question and people will flock to it because they know who that is and they can expect the, the kind of quality that they've gotten from other videos before that have been helpful, that were about things that were related to that person. We haven't quite gotten there yet. And so I think that a video that's perhaps maybe about your DNA results and the title might be something like uh, DNA results are in how we can learn from our blood or how can we learn from our DNA. And that way it's like we together are kind of learning together, right? If that makes sense. So I think that's really important, right? Uh, the, the Skyrish or Oddish Irish thing has like, that doesn't matter to me. I mean, it does matter to me because you're here and I care about you, but for a viewer who's finding this, who's getting this impression on their homepage or browse area, this is not worthwhile to click on, right? Versus this, which is like, this almost looks somewhat creepy in a way, no offense, but it's just like um, an old picture and then sinister. Those two things together make me want to click to just what's to understand what's going on. That's why this one week ago has three times more views than this one from three weeks ago, right? This one here too, I react to Irish YouTube star, uh, Jack Septif uh, Septic Eye. Um, again, that's you're using the same text in, in the title as in the thumbnail, and that's a waste. You want to have um, the the person or the subject matter be first in the title. So Jack Septic Eye, um, family tree reaction, right? And then in the title, maybe it's you know again I'm seeing this uh, th these castles in the background. It, it it doesn't tell the story, right? It doesn't tell the story. So I think you nailed it with this one. But again, I'm trying to understand more about why a person might click on these, right? So really get into why would people click on this? They want to click on it because it's Jacksepticeye. So let's make Jacksepticeye much bigger. And then you reacting, maybe, you know, I, again, I like this reaction photo. It shows a little bit of a, 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 a personality. But why would, why would a person click on this? Maybe it's um, my surprising or, um, you know, I was surprised might be the text right, on the tie, on the thumbnail, right, like, uh, I couldn't believe it, or um, I knew this was true, right, something like that, that again, tells a story and makes me want to click through. Sorry about that, chat. So again, I wasn't going anywhere new, I was just talking about the thumbnail here. But uh, that's kind of what I would recommend for, for this thumbnail. Uh, here, okay, you got your DNA results, why does this matter to the viewer? How can we create an interesting story here? We can go from there and have the title and thumbnail reflect that as well. So um, first of all, I'm intrigued by the topic and title. You've gotten me in. We need now the videos and, and the thumbnails to sort of reflect that, if that makes sense, right? Let's play this welcome video really quick just to see what happens. Thank you, Travis. Haunting by 
You know the one thing that's missing here? I mean, this is beautiful. Love the old photos. I love the music. I'm probably gonna get docked for a uh, copyright, but that's okay. That, I'm, that's not why I'm here. Um, I would have loved to hear your voice in the beginning. And it would say something like, yeah, mature man, how I learned from my DNA and how you can too, that's great. Exactly. What's up, Pokey Adam? Good to see you here, my friend. So for this channel here, the only thing that's missing from that video is something from you that goes, maybe it even might say, you know, every family has a story. And if you don't discover your family's story, it might be lost in history forever. Now there's a reason, right? Like now there's a reason why I need to stick around because I don't want to be responsible for having my family history and family tree go away, right? And um, then the music kicks in and it kind of like reflects all that, right? I think that that alone is enough to hook me in and keep me going. And again, every video should have a reason, a reason to stick around, right? I'm hoping in this DNA video, for example, that you share right away. Hey guys, I got my DNA results and I couldn't believe what I discovered about myself. And I wanted to share these results with you so that you can learn from when you do these things too. Also, by the way, here's an affiliate link to 23andMe where you can go get your DNA results too. And it's very easy or, you know, all that, like this is how you do it, whatever. So again, I'm not gonna play it right now because I wanna go to these other reviews, but I hope this helps you. And you're on your way, you're on your way. Let's just, again, 1% improvements over time and do your voice in a deep voice, yeah. Your family history. No, I don't know. You might need the guy from uh, from from Sleep Cove to help you. No, that would actually put you to sleep, which is what he wanted to do, but I don't think you want to put t uh, people to sleep here, right? So anyway, I hope that helps you how we got here, and thank you again for being on the chopping block today. I appreciate you for that. Okay, let's move on to big promotions. Big promotions. I can imagine what this would be about. Big promotions. All right, here we go. Big promotions. All right. So let's read at the top here, purveyors of swag and merch, new videos and live streams every week, big promotions, up your marketing game. Okay, purveyors of swag and merch, that is like a great way to say it if you were creating some sort of um, creative uh, tagline, but what exactly do you do? To me, it's up your marketing game. Right? There's, there's, there's a lot going on here. If you were to only share one thing here, big promotions, up your marketing game. Um, that, that, that almost is enough to me, right? Purveyors of swag and merch. A lot of people don't necessarily know what purveyors might actually mean. Um, and, and maybe that's okay that that's there, but up your marketing game, big promotions. There's a million YouTube channels that help people up their marketing game. Why is this one the one that we need to watch? I like the images, very family friendly looking. I like that. I like the the, where the images are, I like the, the text there. Um, I like the logo is really dope. But again, why, like up your marketing game, let's get specific, right? Up your e-commerce game or sell more of your swag, right? Sell more of your swag, or I don't know. I don't know what it might be, but something that helps me understand more about, okay, well, what is unique about this channel versus other channels that are helping me with, uh, you know, marketing, right? So. Uh, this one was published four months ago. Promotional products work. Big ideas from big promotions. Let's watch this and just see what happens. People around the world love and connect with promotional products. As a matter of fact, they use them every moment of the day. Promotional products advertising is the one mm. go-to branding tool that delivers exposure, engagement, and touches consumers like no other. Okay. So this is a great video, by the way. Now I'm understanding what this is about, right? So you help companies create merch and swag that help them get more sales. That's clear to me now that I'm watching this video. So great video, but I did not know that when I came on this page. So that's very important, right? Big promotions, swag so that I can get more sales. I would say you need to take the position that marketing swag is the best way to advertise your stuff, right? I hope that there's videos about how much money one has made by investing into swag or water bottles or, you know, Nalgene bottles or journals or notebooks. And 
how much more money they got back, right? If you were to able, if you were able to show case studies of a company that you've worked with, for example, that spent X amount of dollars on getting pens and swag for their event, and then you shared just what that did for business, well, then it's gonna be very clear, right? I would have that be, be somewhere, maybe even in the welcome video. Hey, we help companies like this, this, this. They spent this much on swag and look at them now. They're getting advertising and that continues to work for them over time. And and that, you know, I think I think this, I love this niche. I had never heard anybody talk about it before, but I didn't know that this was what it was about, right? Even this, this is a shirt from another company. This is uh, I am North westarkansas.com <laughs> see and now they're getting a little bit of a shout out i am northwest marketing northwest arkansas excuse me dot com and they're getting some love too so if you were to show examples of this and I, I can see it in the video here too that's really cool purveyors of swag banner how can he improve on it i didn't know what purveyors of swag and merch mean right are they selling them themselves are they um you know that's you, you got to talk at like a, a fifth grade level right? Even if you're speaking to adults, you have to just be so clear so that there is literally no way a person can be confused, right? We help you make more money with swag. Can you get any more clear than that? Let's go. Like, that's it. Like, even up your swag game, right, is like, well, what does that mean, right? We help you make more money, get more sales, get more customers with the right products for your business, right? Like, let's just get, let's just, let's just not beat around the bush there. Okay. See, here's what I mean about playlists. You're doing such a good job of putting these playlists here. There's so much content here. And then, you know, this, this is like attracting to me, right? Oh my gosh. Yes. Is that you? Yes. That's so good. Dude. I love how people put their personalities into this. Is that you, Rich? Nice. Uh, the thumbnails are looking really good. Um, Promo cast, you have your podcast there. See see how these playlists are sort of here uh, horizontally? I love that. That's looking really good. What are your most popular videos? Let's see. Boom, I get it. Make it simple, yeah. Like imagine you, you're at a, a dinner table with somebody and they're like, what do you do? And you're like, oh, we're purveyors of swag and merch. We up your marketing game, right? Okay. Versus, um, oh yeah, we help companies choose the right products to help them make more money. Everything from, you know, coolers to water bottles. We know exactly what's gonna help you get more eyeballs for your brand. Wow, okay, I'm in, right, I'm in. Okay, so your most popular one is this uh, marine cooler. So nothing, nothing really that like popped, if you will, right? Big promotional products work. Okay, let's watch one of these videos. Let's let's look at this um, this one from four months ago. Or is this a, is this literally the same video? People around the world. Oh my god! I I literally clicked on the same video that was in the in the in the title. That's so funny. Let's watch uh, the marine cooler one. Actually, let's let's look for one that was most recently uploaded. Uh, sort by uh, date added newest. Okay, so you have a lot of. Uh, casts here so this looks like parts of podcasts or other things like that which is pretty cool um putting live streams on your uh, whether this was live streamed or even if it was recorded off it's like so much longer right you have 18 minutes 21 minutes 19 minutes 22 minutes um, you have a lot of long form content here right and a lot of these aren't getting a ton of views and it just might be a place for you to repurpose this stuff which is again if that's the if that's the case then that's fine but i'm just going to tell you from my own experience live streams uh, and, and, and long form interview, uh, show podcast type stuff. Um, they struggle for growing a channel. Uh, they're not really built for the replay viewer, right? Um, even the live stream here, the income stream, it has not been growing the channel. Uh, very little has it been growing the channel. And most days is for the people who are here live and the few people who watch the replays after, uh, pre-recorded videos that have a hook that are based on keywords that are built to have people watch all the way through for 10, 12 minutes is what's working best on my channel and I know many other channels. Um, short, Shorter videos work too. And of course I can imagine a lot of uh, your stuff being more short, being specific about certain products and such. But all that to say, adding a lot of long form content when the growth vectors of your channel are gonna be the short form content 
it just confuses YouTube and it confuses the viewer. People aren't subscribing because they're coming here for big promotion stuff, uh, like the specific products that you were doing before, and now they're getting this long form content. So I don't know if you're making a brand change where now this is gonna be about the podcast and being about these interviews, but if that's the case, then we need to have that be a part of, of the thing, right? So, um, you know, honest conversations about promotions for your brand, right? Or something like that. So I, I wanna click on one of these because this is what you've been promoting uh, recently. Just to kind of see if I can offer hey everybody. some Welcome help to the here. Big Promo Cast, our episode 47. Coming to you from sunny East Dallas, Texas, where it's a blistery 66 degrees and cloudy and windy. But, but it does hurt the channel to have long form videos. Um, I, I spoke with a, sorry, I was, uh, playing this video here. Um, I've been working with a consultant who I said, I want to double the size of my channel this year. And the first thing they said is, okay, um, when are you going to stop doing these lives? So live streams, uh, very difficult. Long form content. Imagine like I, here's what I would do, Rich. I would go into your analytics. And for people who are who are watching the videos, um, check to see how long people are watching the videos for. And if people aren't sticking all the way through, you'll have to make a decision. Uh, you'll either have to consider how you can make these videos more watchable, uh, meaning maybe there's more B-roll or other things, um, multiple camera angles. Like these people who do long form podcast type content on the on the YouTube space are putting a lot of effort into the production of it because YouTube audiences have a very, very low attention span which is why these shorter videos or videos with a ton of movement, a lot of pattern interrupts often work better. Either that or you don't put them here at all. And to me having, for example, uh, and, and this may work out in your favor, right? Because I mean, if you were to total all the views from the last two months, I mean, it may cross 200 views and the YouTube channel maybe becomes a place for something different and you have your podcasts and, and other things for the cast part of it. Um, the other thing is if you do go live here on YouTube, going live on YouTube is great, but having it be something that is for the purpose of growth uh, is, is not gonna work in most cases. And if that's the case, then maybe the live streams are just for people who are there live and they don't actually get put into your feed. They don't get put into um, you know your normal video library, if that makes sense. Yes. So I hope that makes sense because to me, there's like two different uh, kinds of, of like if, I, if I'm subscribing for the, the chats, then that's great. But then the short videos maybe aren't going to make a lot of sense to me and vice versa. So I think that you're just going to have to make a decision of, of some kind or do uh, even a little bit more research in terms of, okay, well, who else is out there doing these long form videos, right? Like you even have, like, check this out. This two minute video here has more views from four days ago than the two videos next to it, right? Seven views on this one, that's 25 minutes. Nine views on this one, that's 22 minutes. You've seemed to have developed an audience that doesn't care for these videos. Here's, a, here's another short video, three minutes, five ways to market your business in 2021. Awesome, t awesome title, awesome thumbnail, 32 views. 19 from before, 23 from after, etc. So I'm hoping this is making sense, at least if anything, maybe I can do them live and then unlist them. Are they serving a purpose here for you? Are they doing what it is that you want to do? If not, then we need to make changes because what got you here won't get you there, right? And so again, I'm not saying you need to quit putting these things on YouTube, but again, it's something that we need to think about. It's at least giving you a sign. If these aren't working, we need to change something, right? So again, I'm not helping you, uh, I, I'm not telling you what to do exactly, but, but something needs to change, right? We need to get either more people watching this. I think that also maybe, in fact, your, uh, I'm looking at the titles of these videos uh, for the longer form stuff. You're talking about a bunch of different things. And if somebody sees something in their uh, subscription feed or they come across this on their impressions on a homepage, am I gonna, am I gonna be interested in hashtag Sonic, hashtag Frida Raps, hashtag Miller White, hashtag Big Game? Am I gonna be interested in Rolling Stones, Bernie Memes, Charity, and M&Ms, right? People are on YouTube to look at things that are specific for them. And unless you've already built this audience who is okay watching all the different kinds of things because they trust you guys, it's gonna be very, very difficult, right? To make sense. Please have a thumbs up, thank you. Uh, appreciate that. 
Okay, let's move on to uh, one more, but I, I appreciate you being on the chopping block, uh, big promotions. I'm sorry if this is a little overwhelming, but uh, I'm just being honest based on what I know about YouTube. And again, if I were to see, uh, you know, here, here's what happens. YouTube will learn what your um, stuff is about. And they're gonna send that out to different people, uh, thousands of people. They're gonna give you those impressions for free. And they're gonna see whether or not people are clicking on those titles and thumbnails and or watching those videos. And if you're not doing those things, you're not helping YouTube and YouTube's not gonna help you back. So check out your th check out your uh, data and analytics. If you're not getting four to 5% click-through rate, then that's not good. And if you're not getting people to watch more than five minutes on a 21 minute video, then that's not good either. So I would definitely look at the, the analytics to help guide you um, and then help you decide whether or not this is worth continuing to do or not, because I'm sure there's a lot of uh, stuff being put into, put into here. I could imagine, however, you might be able to take these recordings and put them behind the Patreon where people who get to find you through these, you know, one-off products and other things that you can help. Hey, you guys want to go deeper. You're a fan of this. Great. Come into the Patreon or come into the membership and get access to these really great conversations where we can go deeper. And now it's a separate place where people can expect the longer form content. Then again, that's just an idea. I love your honesty, Pat, because you make me understand things and how to improve. Thank you. You're welcome. So what is percentage? Why five minutes? It's just, huh. percentage is important too. I would say 50% and or five minutes. Um, most videos on YouTube don't get over five minutes of watch time. And there's just seems to be something that happens when you get to that point. Uh, so that's why I say that. Now, of course, the longer your content is, yes, you can have a shorter, um, view length, but uh, five minutes or 50% or, or of your videos is really important. Obviously, the shorter the video, the, the larger the percentage should be because it's a shorter video. Cool. Uh, all right, Uncle Bill, um, would you mind if we started off with reviewing your stuff tomorrow morning? We can go a little bit deeper with it since we seem to be over, but I, I wanted to spend more time on that channel because I think it was really important and there's a lot of uh, a lot of nuances to that, of course. That's so cool of you to share, Pat. Love these live videos. Thank you so much. And yeah, Uncle Bill, let me know if we could start tomorrow uh, with you since I know you show up every day and I'd love to start by going deeper and then we can get into the Q&A if that's fine. Uh, just let me know if I can have your blessing on that, Uncle Bill in the chat, and we can go and um, and, and go from there. Uh, what can I do to get a review now from you guys? Um, well, we'll have to wait till next week. Uh, I do these only once a week here and if I could do them for everybody, I absolutely would, but it, it, I do go in depth with them and I do make sure to try and... Um, and try and make that happen. Lisa says, Patreon idea is super. You are the king. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just I'm just a random dude trying to help out other random people on the internet and and, and I appreciate you for that. So, uh, cool. Big promotions, thanks. I totally get what you're saying. Cool, thank you. And, and again, no need for super chats, guys. I, I do appreciate it. It does support the channel, uh, but um, had a lot of fun today. And I think that um, we'll have a lot more to do tomorrow. So Uncle Bill, we'll start with you tomorrow. And then we're going to get into some Q&A. We'll do another round of website and YouTube channel reviews next week. But wow, that hour flew by. And again, thank you, Big Promotions, for the Super Chat. I appreciate you. Great value, Pat. Thanks. You're welcome, Mike. Uh, these days are very interesting because they get very specific to certain people. But I hope that you're still able to learn from uh, the example of others and to everybody who was here at Reef, Sleep Cove, How We Got Here podcast, Big Promotions. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to share your stuff and to uh, break it open a little bit and hopefully build it back up even better for next time. So looking forward to seeing how you improve. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Again, same time, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Take care. Appreciate you. Peace out. And as always, Team Flynn for the win. You're awesome. This is the income stream to help you achieve your dream. All oh, while we keep it clean, this is the income stream. It's the kind of show where you can come and go, but then you leave inspired with no fee required. The income stream with Pat Flynn. Let's go. Let's focus. Focus. We need to focus. There we go. We, we focused. <laughs> that was cool. Um, so we got the word in. Appreciate you. Balloons for everybody. Take care. Peace out. And as always, Team Flynn for the win. Bruh. Stay warm.